Hi, I'm Aaron the Intern. It's things like this that you find all over the place that make the company's theater such a wonderful place. It's an original mural painted by Zoe Bradford. I'm working on him. That's awesome. I'm going to win it for two years to get back to it. The world is Zoe's canvas. She even paints the walls. Not only is she a great painter, but she's also one of the best photographers. Hi Zoe, thank you for sitting down with me. Um, so you are the president and the artistic director of the Company Theatre, correct? I am, and the founder. And the founder. Yep. We, back in 1978, we had this idea, Jordy and I, that we had to found a theatre, that we had to create a theatre when a bunch of kids showed up on our doorstep and said, you guys need to make a theater. You have to run a theater. We love working with you. It was and, kids. And that's how it all started? That's how it all started. When are you happiest at work? Oh, when there's so much going on that's creative. I love the creative aspect of it. Of course, the business aspect is exciting in a different way, but I'm happiest when creative minds are all flying with ideas. And I know I've got a meeting about something to do with like lights or costumes, scenery, uh, casting, anything like that in an epicenter of creativity. How do you use everyday experiences as your canvas for creativity? Ooh, everyday experiences. Well, you know, I think it's really important to live every day like it's your last day. Look at every little detail in life. You know, I love nature and, you know, being outside, but I also love the magic that theater creates inside. So I'm a, I'm a really visual person. So I just walk around and I try to see, you know, joy in a kid if I'm at ACT or anything that just would stimulate me to think this would be a great story or this would be a great character or anything like that. Just being really observant of my world is, I Absolutely. guess, the thing. Absolutely. What accomplishments are you most proud of? Uh, professionally, my most important accomplishments would be founding the theater and sticking with it because uh, Jordy and I were very poor. We were freelancing, we were cleaning houses, we were doing all these things, and everybody told us we would fail. The accomplishments of getting on that track of getting our nonprofit status, that was step one. And then buying a house so that we could show we could own property, that was step two. And that was really hard. That took 10 years. Mm -hmm. I knew that we had to have our own campus. We couldn't be under the jurisdiction of a church or a, um, a school, which, which we had been, and we were grateful for our opportunities there, but it wasn't enough to be able to spread our wings to have the kids feel like they could take kind of ownership of a place in a way that they would become theirs, uh, their home, their home away from home or their second family. So uh, achieving the purchase of this building was a huge milestone. It was very difficult in the 90s because um, being a woman, that was, you know, it was only years, a few years before that women couldn't even have their own um, bank accounts. They couldn't have credit. Um, so, you know, just achieving that and convincing the banks and all the right people that we could do this was an enormous, you know, business milestone. Right. Creatively, it's when I've um, been involved in the writing of a musical. That is just ultimate for me because I'm a storyteller. That's what I love. And um, I love history and all that kind of stuff. When I have been inspired to write a show, and then have people laughing or maybe, you know, uh, being emotional about it or just having fun or standing up, a standing ovation. Those are the true joys of, um, of my work. Right. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Why is it important for individuals to see the world as their canvas rather than a limitation? Oh, yes. I, I think, um, you know, grow, growing up at in my age, growing up in the 50s, 60s, 70s, there were a lot of limitations. And you were, uh, I was very much told that I would really never amount to much of anything. You know, I think it's so important to see what's in front of you and say, not I can't, but I can. That's, I mean, that's what we did when we started the theater. I mean, we had nothing. So to go to a church and say, can we use your stage and we'll give you some of the take on our first show. No matter what, there's always a way to figure out if you're really passionate about it, about something 
then then the world is yours. Absolutely. You know, it's there are no limitations. But you have to be able to be dedicated and um, patient. For me, collaboration is the other thing that's, and I think I've already touched on that, but collaboration is the key to success. So if you're going to do any kind of collaborative work, it's important to surround yourself with brilliant people or dedicated people or people who are just loyal or uh, creative. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think definitely you've done that here. Everybody here just works so well together. They're just all very friendly. That's the great thing. It's it's amazing. Oh, Um, good. So, and now one of the last questions I have is, what is your vision for the future of the theater company? And how would you like to see it grow and evolve? Uh, There's always room for more students. You know, that's a huge growth. Maintaining our campus and, and adding on to it. Now we're expanding our studio spaces so we can have dance programs with uh, Robert McDonough being the education coordinator right now who's putting everything together. I think we have a lot of potential here for for future growth so that parents can feel like they can just go one place and and get so much for their kid. We've just added an art room Mm -hmm. to our campus. So, um, you know, maybe fine art classes or some kind of uh, creative um, arts always cascade into theatrical arts, or they can mm-hmm. by set design, costuming, you know, all that kind of stuff is, um, you know, the physically creative. Um, and that's, I think, the more we become the teaching theater that we are, the more we expand on that, I, I think there's, you know, I think we're just going to be bursting at the seams in our building. So I think that's, that's one goal. And then, of course, to be able to... Um, get the funding and get the support from our patrons to con- continued support is like so key to our survival we don't rely on grants we're grateful for grants and gifts very very grateful and we always put it to great use but you know being self-sustaining is also important because it shows that we're fiscally responsible that's really vital for mm. our for our continued growth so i never want to you know, take that for granted, and that is because our patrons believe in what we do, love our shows, love the quality of our shows. They have to, you know, uh, continue to support us in any way that they can. That's that's something that I think is key for our continued growth, and you know, and being able to create new works where, uh, on occasion, somebody comes up with something that has never been seen before. Right. Wow, that's the best. Exactly. Well, I really do appreciate you sitting down and talking sure. with me. Sure. Thank you. Thank you again for sitting down. It was great. It was great to learn. Thank great. you. Thank you, Aaron. I'm Aaron the intern, and I'll see you next week. And just remember that the world is always your canvas. Aaron the intern. Aaron the intern. Aaron the intern. Go intern. Yay! Well, the creativity that is stimulated for me is um, through a lot of times through historical research um, because I really believe we can learn from the past and that's been a great creative outlet for me uh, in an ever-changing world where there are people who have challenges and um, not accepted uh, I feel like when we look back at history we can learn how to you know overcome uh, you know and acceptance I think that's really important and um, there have been so many mistakes and beautiful things in history if we combine that and present it in a way that it's accessible and interesting and entertaining, maybe even fun, then we're all going to learn something from that and hopefully change some people's minds or change people's lives in some small way.